Elon Musk just dropped a sentence that at first sounded casual. But if you really listened, it was a quiet bombshell. He said, we've put a lot of effort into this over many years, mostly internally, but with some key acquisitions that helped us achieve a low cost per kilowatt hour. That single line exposed what Tesla's really been building in secret. Not just another battery but the foundation of a completely new era in electric mobility. While the world was laughing at Cybertruck memes and viral Tesla bot clips, Musk and his engineers were quietly engineering what could become the true end of lithium, and the birth of something faster, safer and far cheaper. The aluminum ion battery. And if the leaks are accurate, this isn't going into some elite roadster or plaid prototype. No. It's heading straight for the Tesla Model 2, the affordable EV that could change the world. So buckle up. Because what we're about to uncover could completely flip the electric vehicle market on its head. Before we dive in, help Torque Element reach its next big milestone, 2,000 subscribers. Tap subscribe, ring the bell, and stay ahead of the tech that's rewriting automotive history. Now let's peel this open. What is aluminum ion? Why is it so different from lithium? And how long has Tesla secretly been preparing for this moment? Let's start from the core, the chemistry. Aluminum ion batteries are not some small upgrade to lithium ion. They are a total rethink. Lithium ion relies on expensive, geopolitically tangled materials like cobalt, nickel, and manganese. These metals don't just make batteries expensive, they make them controversial. Cobalt mining, especially in the Democratic Republic of Congo, has been linked to environmental damage and unethical labor. Cobalt prices have jumped between $30,000 and $80,000 per metric ton over the past five years. Compare that to aluminum, which costs around $2,200 per ton and is mined in over 40 countries including China, India, and Australia. It's cheap, it's everywhere, and it's easy to recycle. That abundance alone could make aluminum ion the ultimate democratizer, the battery chemistry for the people. But it gets even better. Recycling aluminum takes only 5% of the energy needed to mine it from scratch. That means Tesla could slash emissions in both production and end-of-life recycling, a double victory that lithium simply can't match. Then comes safety. Lithium-ion batteries have a flaw we've seen again and again. They can overheat, ignite, and cause fires that are almost impossible to extinguish. That's because lithium cells use flammable organic electrolytes. Aluminum-ion batteries flip the script. They use non-volatile ionic liquid electrolytes, which are thermally stable up to 200 degrees Celsius. That means no thermal runaway, no explosions, no smoke-filled garages. In Stanford University's early tests, researchers crushed, pierced, and short-circuited aluminum ion cells, and they stayed cool. Not a single one caught fire. Imagine owning an EV that's completely immune to the kind of battery fires that have haunted every brand including Tesla's own lineup. That's not just safer, it's revolutionary. But the real shocker is charging speed. We've all heard the claim, fast charging coming soon. But even Tesla's V3 superchargers max out at around 250 kilowatts, which means 20 to 40 minutes to get from 0 to 80%. Not bad but not instant. Early aluminum ion prototypes have already shown something mind-blowing, charging rates above 1000 kilowatts in controlled bursts. That's four times faster than anything Tesla currently has in public use. Four small battery packs, that means a full charge in under three minutes. Four full-size EVs, Experts predict that the technology will stabilize somewhere between 350 and 500 kilowatts, still fast enough to take a compact EV like the Model 2 from empty to full in about 5 minutes. Think about that, the same time it takes to pump gas. That is the psychological barrier killer. The reason many people still cling to combustion isn't because they love gasoline, it's because they hate waiting. Aluminum ion could erase that waiting time forever. Then there's lifespan. Standard lithium-ion batteries degrade after 1,000 to 3,000 charge cycles. Aluminum-ion, especially when combined with carbon nanostructure cathodes, can last up to 12,000 cycles without noticeable capacity loss. 12,000 cycles. That's the equivalent of more than 2.5 million kilometers of driving. In plain English, the car might wear out before the battery does. Imagine a world where your EV's battery outlives your vehicle. And aluminum ion's durability isn't just for personal cars. It's a dream for aviation, freight transport, and grid storage. It means Tesla could start building batteries that last decades, not years. Now let's talk energy density, the metric that decides how far an EV can go. Early aluminum ion batteries were criticized for having lower energy density than lithium. But that was before the introduction of three-dimensional graphene foam cathodes, a technology that Tesla and several partners have quietly been developing. 
these new cells have reached more than 1,350 watt-hours per liter in lab tests. Compare that to today's best lithium-ion cells, which average between 700 and 900 watt-hours per liter. That's roughly a 50% improvement, meaning you can get the same range with a smaller, lighter battery pack. For a car like the Model 2 which will already be compact, that's perfect. Less weight, more space, better efficiency and potentially even a larger interior. This is where things start to connect. All these properties, safety, cost, durability, and energy density, make aluminum ion the perfect match for an entry-level Tesla. Tesla doesn't need a million-dollar hypercar to show this off. They need a car that millions of people can afford, and that's exactly what the Model 2 is designed to be. So let's dive deeper. What makes Tesla's aluminum ion cell design so different from the academic prototypes we've seen? According to insiders and leaked patent filings, Tesla's version uses a soft pack, pouch based design instead of the traditional rigid cylinders like the 2170 or 4680 cells. Instead of housing the cell in a metal tube, it's wrapped in a flexible multi layer laminate film. That means the pack can bend slightly without damage. Why is that important? Because it opens up new possibilities for how batteries are shaped and placed. These ultra thin aluminum ion pouches can be stacked flat under the floor, curved along the side panels, or even integrated into seats or doors. We're talking thicknesses as low as 4 mm per cell, with weight up to 30% lower than comparable lithium cells. That flexibility could allow Tesla to completely rethink vehicle architecture, lower the floor, improve aerodynamics, and give even small cars like the Model 2 a cabin that feels bigger than its footprint. But Tesla's innovation doesn't stop at the pack. Recycling is being reinvented too. Instead of using toxic acid baths and high-temperature furnaces like lithium-ion recycling, Tesla's aluminum-ion recycling uses a dry mechanical closed-loop process. It's basically pressure, vibration, and magnetic fields. No chemicals, no waste. This method can recover more than 95% of materials at 40% lower cost than conventional recycling. That means every aluminum cell that reaches the end of its life can be reprocessed into new ones, endlessly. The cycle never really ends. And since these batteries use no lithium at all, Tesla avoids the international supply chain bottleneck that has plagued every EV maker for the past decade. This isn't just a technical advantage, it's a political one. It means full eligibility for U.S. federal EV tax credits under the Inflation Reduction Act. With aluminum sourced from the U.S., Canada, or Australia, Tesla can keep production local, prices stable, and quality consistent. That could mean up to $7,500 in incentives for each Model 2 a game-changer for affordability. Now let's talk about why the Model 2 needs this technology to succeed. The EV market is changing fast, but three big hurdles remain. First, price. Second, range anxiety. Third, charging convenience. To break into the mass market, Tesla has to hit all three, and the aluminum ion battery is the only realistic way to do it. Start with price. Right now, a typical 60 kilowatt hour lithium pack costs Tesla around $7,800. That's roughly one-third of the entire car's cost. But an aluminum-ion pack of the same capacity could cost under $4,000, cutting battery expenses in half. That single change could lower the Model 2's starting price to around eleven dollars to $14,000 after incentives. Think about that, a Tesla cheaper than a Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic. A true people's EV. And because the aluminum-ion battery lasts longer, Tesla could even offer lifetime warranties or battery leasing models where the pack never really dies. Then comes charging. Right now, most EV owners plan their drives around charging stations. With aluminum ion, that problem evaporates. If a Model 2 can charge in 5 minutes, road trips are back on the table. Daily charging stops become as quick as a coffee break. That's not just a convenience upgrade, it's a mindset shift. For the first time, charging would feel as fast as normal as refueling. And here's something people often miss. Faster charging also means fewer chargers are needed. If each car spends less time plugged in, Tesla's supercharger network becomes exponentially more efficient. It's like doubling the number of stations without building a single new one. Now consider weight. Aluminum ion batteries are lighter, up to 30% less than lithium equivalents. That could shave 150 to 200 kilograms off the Model 2. Less weight means better range, quicker acceleration, and more agile handling. Combine that with Tesla's aerodynamics and structural battery pack, and suddenly, even with a smaller 50 kWh battery, the Model 2 could still achieve around 400 km of range. 400 km, 5-minute charging, 
and a price tag starting near $11,000 after credits. This is not just an EV. It's a revolution. But here's what's really wild. Tesla has been working toward this for years right under our noses. Remember those small acquisitions Elon mentioned? Over the past decade, Tesla quietly bought or partnered with several advanced material startups. Companies like Maxwell Technologies, Hybar Systems, and Spring Power International, all experts in dry electrode processing, electrolyte development, and cathode innovation. Each one brought a critical piece of the puzzle. Maxwell's dry coating process eliminated solvents and sped up electrode production. Hybar's micro precision pump systems allowed automated mixing of ionic liquids. And Spring Power's work on low cost cathode materials became the backbone for large scale aluminum ion cells. So when Elon said they've been working on it internally for many years, that wasn't exaggeration, that was understatement. Tesla has been laying the groundwork since before the first Model 3 hit the road. Now it's all coming together. The Model 2 is the stage for this breakthrough, and the timing couldn't be more perfect. While competitors are still scaling up lithium-ion production, fighting over nickel mines and cobalt contracts, Tesla is preparing to step sideways into an entirely new chemistry. A chemistry that's cheaper, safer, cleaner, and faster. And it fits Elon's long-term mission perfectly. The goal was never just to make electric cars. It was to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Aluminum ion doesn't just accelerate that mission, it supercharges it. Because with this, EVs stop being a luxury. They become inevitable. Now picture this. You walk into a Tesla store in 2026. On display the Model 2. Compact, simple, unmistakably Tesla. The salesperson tells you it can charge in 5 minutes, last for decades and costs less than your old gas car. That's not science fiction anymore. That's the roadmap Musk has been quietly building. A roadmap powered not by lithium but by aluminum. So here's the real question. When the Model 2 finally arrives, are we looking at the end of the gas era? Or the beginning of a whole new one for electric vehicles? Because if Tesla truly delivers an aluminum ion battery, fast charging, long lasting, low cost, this isn't just another EV release. This is the pivot point. The moment we'll look back on and say, that's when everything changed. Would you drive a Tesla that charges in 5 minutes, lasts a lifetime and never risks catching fire? Drop your thoughts below. Comment, Alu Battery, if you believe this is the breakthrough the world's been waiting for. Stay sharp. Stay curious. Stay ahead. This is Torque Element and we're watching the silent revolutions Elon Musk is setting in motion. One aluminum atom at a time.